Welcome back. Thank you so much for watching Desi Plaza TV. And this is Face to Face with Dr. Prakasha. We are continuing with the next episode. So far, we talked in our previous episodes the importance of Hinduism and his involvement in the spiritual life and also what he is doing to spread the word about Hinduism. So let's continue and ask his involvement, what he is doing globally to spread this word. So Dr. Prakasha, welcome back. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank you. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the organization that you are involved, the GHHF. Uh, at the yes. Global Hindu Heritage Foundation, Correct. which is one of the most prominent organization that uh, yeah. is helping uh, the Hinduism, importance of Hinduism. Correct. So tell us a little bit about it. You see, um, in 2006, mm -hmm. I retired from the university. So I thought I will just take it easy and go and visit all the places in India and then so I don't have to worry about after so many years of whatever struggle or whatever you want to call it. So I went to India mm -hmm. and I was staying with my brother. That was August 23rd, 2006, wow. 7.23 minutes. I was reading Enadu, that's a Telugu paper, mm -hmm. where I saw a news item whereby the, the, the then chief minister, issued GO21 mm -hmm. by which he allocated crores of rupees for the construction of new churches and renovation of old churches. <laughs> so when I read that uh, piece, mm -hmm. uh, my blood boiled. I mean, I couldn't take it. I was literally shivering, actually shaking because the Hinduism is the root of India. Mm -hmm. Annie Besant actually said, if there is no Hinduism, there is no India. Mm -hmm. If the Hinduism is pulled out of India, mm -hmm. there is no India, there is no global uh, harmony. Okay. So then what do I do? I was so angry. I called so many people to see what can be done. I couldn't get the answer. Finally, I talked to a couple of lawyers. And then within a week, I filed a case actually in the High Court to see if it can be stopped. So we were able to get stay order to release those funds. So we were successful at that time. And then I came to the US I, with uh, some of our friends. So I, we started this Global Hindu Heritage Foundation. So you are the, the founder of? Yes, so one of the, one of one the, of the two, two, three founders. Okay. Now, why did we start? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of this organization is the basic sure. question anybody would ask. Okay. The reason we started this one is, <coughs> how do we preserve our Hinduism? How do we protect our, our, our temples? Because when we start reading about it, mm -hmm. all the government, all the temples in India, mm -hmm. most of the temples, in India mm -hmm. are taken over by the state governments. Okay. So which is true of all the southern states, mm -hmm. well, you know, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Mm. So Andhra Pradesh also same thing. There are 38,000 temples are taken over by any temple that makes 50 lakh rupees or more automatically goes under the government state. control. Mm -hmm. But it is not the same with other religions. Okay. The churches are independent, mm -hmm. mosques are independent, mm -hmm. why the government would not take those and then control them Correct. or run them. Right. So then you keep thinking about it, mm -hmm. then you wonder why we have to allow the government to Do run session. our temples. Mm -hmm. okay? And then not only that one, in 2008, 20% of the temple lands were sold mm -hmm. by the government okay. as if they have the right which they think they claim they have the right. Mm -hmm. Some people probably 2,200 years, 300,000 years ago, they built the temple with all the vision that they have. They wanted to make sure these temples continue to run after they leave. Got it. They donated this much land, mm -hmm. make sure these temples will be maintained properly. It is, it is that kind of vision they had. And these government officials, all these politicians, they are abusing the system, they are destroying the temples, they are destroying the Hinduism. Mm -hmm. Whether they know it or not, 
for their selfish reasons, for their power, for their fame, they are demeaning the Hinduism, destroying the Hindu temples. This is the reason why we started this global, global Hindu heritage. In event. order to support. In order to make sure, mm -hmm. because they are able to take it because there is a law which is called Endowment Act. Mm -hmm. Endowment So that's the reason all these mm -hmm. states have endowment departments. There is a minister for the endowment department for all the, the states also. So they run these temples. Okay, mm -hmm. what authority do they have? Except they just want to have the power and they took over. So the problem with our Hindus is we are just so ignorant, <laughs> we are indifferent, we are silent, we don't care a hoot for anything that happens to our Hinduism. Because even if there is a temple that you go every day, mm -hmm. and if that temple is closed, what do you think you will say? Most likely I'll say, well. I'll go to some other temple. You, we won't ask a single question why this temple is closed today. We have become so selfish. What is it in for me? If I get something, I will go. If I don't, I don't give, uh, give anything to this temple. Mm -hmm. So this is the mindset that is destroying our Hinduism. Okay. That is the reason all the other religions are encroaching and then trying to prevail on us. In addition to that one, our Hindu leaders have become so selfish, they are the ones who are actually buying all these temple lands, encroaching the temple lands, and then trying to basically affect the maintenance of these temples. Mm -hmm. When we looked at all the, all the at least 30-35% of the temple lands are sold now. Okay. If you look at all the people who bought it or who encroached it, they are all Hindus. What about the ones that we already have, like, you know, that were like, came as a, uh, you know, already from our ancestors, like, you know, so many kings and queens, they yeah. already built, like, yeah. <coughs> so do you think at least they are given importance to no, get the No, they don't give anything. Land? In fact, you see, in Kalahasti, there is a mm -hmm. um, Rajagopuram that was built mm -hmm. by um, one of the kings, I'm forgetting the name. Mm -hmm. um, so, a 500 year old temple, mm -hmm. okay. Um, Rajagopuram collapsed, mm -hmm. okay, two years ago. Mm -hmm. Krishna Dev Rai, Krishna Dev, Krishna okay, Sri Krishna Dev Rai built that one. Mm -hmm. Now there is no history. Correct. And so there is a tug of war. There is mm -hmm. always division. You have archaeology department. Mm -hmm. They have to approve it, mm -hmm. and the endowment department will write a letter. There is no stipulation as to how much time they will take in order to respond. You, if you write a letter, tell me one government official giving any response to you. It's unfortunate. They think they are supreme, they are gods, they are be beyond gods. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of mindset that they have today. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the point is, our mission is to see that Endowment Act is repealed. Mm -hmm. So as a result, so we have done a lot of things. We have circulated a lot of information about it. Mm -hmm. We are associated with um, Dr. Subramanya Swami. We are also associated with the Paripurnananda Swami and many other Swamiji's we also met and then discussed with Ravi Shankar, Ganapati Sachidananda Swamiji, all of them. Mm -hmm. So they are aware of actually what we are doing and we have their blessings. <coughs> Dayananda Saraswati, mm -hmm. about three and a half years ago, so collected information about 2500 temples. Mm -hmm. in terms of how much abuse there is in terms of the resources, in terms of the money, in terms of the um, you know, lands, in terms of jewelry, how the mm -hmm. temples are destroying all these things. So he collected all that information through Right to Information Act and filed a case in the Supreme Court, basically to see that this Endowment Act is repealed, mm -hmm. scrapped. Mm -hmm. So that way, Hindus can take over their own temples and run whichever they, they want to run. See, if it is my house, let me run the way I want to run it. Correct. If I want to destroy myself, that is fine. Mm -hmm. But who are you to run this temple? Absolutely. You have no right, mm -hmm. except you are taking advantage of the benevolence mm -hmm. and then ahimsa of the Hindus. Correct. This is what is happening in India. Mm -hmm. And people are not realizing, everybody who looks at it or who watches also, they feel, oh, we need to do it, but that's the end of it, they won't do it. It is apathy of our Hindus is the one that is causing major drawback actually in our thinking. It's a so great thing that this organization exists and uh, 
uh, through this organization we were talking about uh, you know the activities so what what type of uh, yes. things that it's doing to bring correct. that awareness correct okay uh, so now it is in supreme court uh -huh. dr subramanian swami is defending the case it already okay. came up in next okay. two years mm -hmm. we are hoping that it, it will be repealed okay. once it is repealed then we have to manage the temples sure. so our global hindu heritage foundation has already hired two people mm -hmm. to write a constitution for the management of hindu temples mm -hmm. so this would be used in order to mm -hmm. how to run the temples sure. that is one and then we have started an office about 3 and 1/2 years ago in mm -hmm. hyderabad to monitor what is happening in andhra pradesh any everything depends on the resources you know you can have any office That's anywhere but correct. because so there as a result we have only mm -hmm. that one mm -hmm. and then so in 2013 Yeah. Uh, we brought actually the endowment minister from Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. We had a conference here in uh, in Dallas. Okay. We submitted a hundred recommendations, mm -hmm. and he said there is no way I can do all of these things. Mm -hmm. You tell me one thing okay. what you want. We said make sure that no temple lands are sold. Mm -hmm. He said he will do it. Mm -hmm. Within six months he was able to bring GO, mm -hmm. that means government okay. order call they right. call it, okay. by which now they cannot sell the temple lands. okay so that way at least we have been successful to some extent about that one in the same way so we also requested government two other things one is <coughs> so we wanted to have um, the aarti to all the rivers mm -hmm. so that way the people will go just the way they do it in varanasi right. every day mm -hmm. so we also asked that one we got a jeevo mm -hmm. and then so they are doing nadul aarti every time in kartik masam mm -hmm. and this year in feb april this mm -hmm. year means 2016 april we wrote a letter mm -hmm. to the endowment minister asking that krishna janmashtami should be declared as go dinotsava puja day mm -hmm. that means everybody all the temples have to do go puja mm -hmm. on krishna janmashtami okay. which they have issued jeevo mm -hmm. recognizing on the recommendation of global hindu heritage foundation mm -hmm. so we are doing this one and then we are also involved in the vakla mata temple mm -hmm. so vakla mata temple vakla mata temple actually is about 5 kilometers or 6 kilometers from the balaji temple mm -hmm. it used to operate in tirupati, in tirupati. okay and uh, about 100 years ago according to the uh, villagers mm -hmm. muslims actually destroyed it and all that mm -hmm. and then uh, since that time there was no action and that particular mountain is being illegally mined by different people when we saw it we were exhausted mm -hmm. and so then we took up this issue and dr paripurna swamigar who in, was involved in it mm -hmm. and gazal sin was was involved in it that is uh, then there is um, ban prakash reddy now who became ttd trustee member right. he is also involved in it. we were all walking on the streets in uh, tirupati at one time or the other to see that, that is, uh, this temple yeah. is built right. in fact uh, some paripurna swami even pledged Mm -hmm. he promised mm -hmm. that he is not going to visit the balaji temple balaji darshan until vakala mata temple is completed. is completed okay so now november last november mm -hmm. so the high court actually clear all the things mm -hmm. so now hopefully we are planning to have some uh, ground breaking ceremony in february itself for the vakala mata temple doctor tell me when you said that okay these temple that you already are doing so much about and bringing the awareness or, is this only in india or is this for example if someone buy this one globally like other than any country than india also that you are also you know working towards those the only only uh, in terms of the activities we are not mm -hmm. but suppose is russia at one time they wanted to ban bhagavad gita right. so we took up that yes. issue we corresponded that Correct. one so this correspondence and then activism right. sign, sending the petitions the communicating with them is all <laughs> we can do physically we are doing and all those things we don't have the resources <laughs> we are only concentrated in andhra and uh, no, telangana right so in the in the same way so we'll mention just a few things what we have done mm -hmm. if you look at um, um, the most of the temples they are under government control they don't do any 
Kumbhavishekam. So, according to our scriptures, every 12 years, mm -hmm. you have to do Kumbhavishekam. Mm -hmm. That means you have to re-energize the temple. temple. You have to right. infuse more energy, more life into the murtis and sure. all those things. Mm -hmm. They never did that one. Mm -hmm. So, last year, we have taken up one temple mm -hmm. in Palakollu. There is a Ramalingeshwara Swami temple. Mm -hmm. So, we got the permission because you have to get the permission of the government. You, can, you can't touch anything. Right. So, at least we they gave a permission. Mm -hmm. As a result, so we have done the Kumbhavishekam to that Ramalingeshwara temple mm -hmm. in Nepal, Kullu, last year. Mm -hmm. Three days, lot of expenses. So, Global Hindu Heritage Foundation was able to fund it. Mm -hmm. And then Dr. Gazal Sinvas was the one instrumental in organizing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. After we completed that one, uh, all the major temples are approaching us. Why don't you do it for us? Why don't you do it? But the government doesn't have a sense to say this. Every 12 years, we are supposed to do it. They are only in money making. Mm. Tirupati gets so much money. Tirupati money itself probably can take care of all the things that we are talking about it. Mm -hmm. But they will use it for other purposes. Mm -hmm. Like um, last week, uh, two weeks ago, Andhra Pradesh chief minister mentioned that uh, he was going to give 500 crores for the Christians. <laughs> Why? Mm -hmm. And uh, cause, uh, the argument is we also give it to the Hindu, uh, Hindu causes. Right. But you are giving Hindu causes because you are taking money from the Hindu temples mm -hmm. and you are giving it back. Mm -hmm. Whereas for other religions, you are, they are not giving anything to you, mm -hmm. but you are subsidizing, you are promoting the other religions, mm -hmm. either directly or indirectly, you are suppressing Hinduism, mm -hmm. you are promoting uh, the other religions. Other religion. Well, I think more than <coughs> promoting other religions, I think the money should be used for the purpose it is supposed to be used. Exactly. Probably. That is what I feel, because yeah. I think you are right. Yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah, absolutely. Be. It should be used only for that. Mm -hmm. Then if they are not using it, what is the intent? Correct. Obviously, they have some other interest. I think so. Okay. Think so, so, that interest should be put, at, uh, put aside so. and mm -hmm. see this money is only for the purpose it is intended for. That is all we are asking. Mm -hmm. In the same way, mm -hmm. so our Gazal Srinivas, who is uh, our ambassador who mm -hmm. takes care of, of our office in Hyderabad, mm -hmm. so he actually done a lot of other things also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know the Suprabhatam, like Venkateshra Balaji yeah. Suprabhatam, like mm -hmm. this one, so at least six different temples have asked us to come up with Suprabhatam. Oh, okay. Okay, so the Ramla Engeshara temple, and then there is one Panakala Swami temple in Guntur, uh, mm -hmm. Mangalagiri, there is one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard of it, it's a very famous mm -hmm. temple. Mm -hmm. Like that one, so he composed, uh, he sang mm -hmm. and uh, the Suprabhatam to many temples. Okay. So that is one of the things. In the same way, we have taken up the Gomata as a cause mm -hmm. and we have written, we have corresponded with the Prime Minister and other, other people also to make sure that the beef is not exported, Absolutely. even though it is doing it. But we are expressing our, our outrage mm -hmm. about what is happening to our We have donated So, you are basically taking it back and restoring and also exactly. preserving our culture and, and heritage. Then and then advocating the, the principles, principles of Hinduism of and what, what is good for our culture and all that. Absolutely. We have donated a lot of money for a number of Goshalas, at least 15, 16 That's Goshalas also. If anybody is interested, they can Please sponsor please. a Go, mm -hmm. one, one cow. Per year, it is about five hundred dollars. They can select their own goshala, or we can select. We can let you know whom we uh, we so are. So before doing it. we even take the further um, thing, so is there any information or a website that our viewers can reach out if they want yeah. to know more yeah. about this Global Heritage Hindu yes. Heritage Foundation? Yes. So we have a website. Uh -huh. uh, save temples. Okay. Very simple. Save, <laughs> save temples, temples. Plural. Save temples dot org. Save temples. So if you look at that one. So, mm -hmm. I have written probably about 140, 150 articles. Mm -hmm. You can access all those articles in the website, sure. all the activities. And so, every yearly activities, you will all be able to see it also. Okay. Well, thank you so much for giving uh, very, you know, extensive knowledge about this uh, Global Hindu Heritage Foundation that is promoting the Hinduism and also giving a very vast knowledge about what it is and, uh, you know, what is followed in it. And uh, definitely, this is uh, something that we again revisit and yes, uh, yes. Uh, explore more. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching and uh, we will come back in the next episode to give you more about Hinduism and thank you to Dr. Prakash Rao for giving us such a great information. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Thank you.